washing my hands. Washing my hands. And I hope you feel exciting with my feeling. Uh, to begin, uh, uh, I would like to uh, define my wondering and how does it from illegal activities. So exactly what is illegal activities? Drug trafficking. Drug trafficking, drug smuggling, weapon, anything else? Weapon trafficking. Yes, exactly. And anything else? Uh, criminal. criminal. Criminal activities. Very good. Anything else? Human trafficking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, corruption, the money for yes. um, corruption mm -hmm. and tax evasion. You know, tax evasion. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't pay tax for government. Mm -hmm. That is a kind of dirty money. Mm -hmm. So, when we talk about money laundering, it means refer to the act, any action of converting from dirty money into clean money. So the money laundering is not product, it's a process. It takes a process uh, from you need to collect, uh, the first is you collect money for illegal activity, as you mentioned, like hard corruption or drug smuggling or drug trafficking, and then Criminal, they find a way to enter into the financial system, like to find a way to give it to the bank. How they can clean money to the financial system, and then they, they, they mix with the clean money in the economy, so that nobody can trace the, the source of illegal money. So now in the economy, it's difficult for you to find out which is clean money and which is dirty money. So, that is take a process. So in more detail, I, I, I want I want to show you a little bit of video of money laundering. So take a look. Legend has it the term money laundering dates back to the time of Al Capone. <coughs> the notorious Chicago gangsters said to have bought up a string of laundrettes in the 1920s to disguise his illicit earnings. In reality, the practice has indeed existed for decades, but the term only came into official use in the 1980s. Criminals earning huge sums of money from drug trafficking, weapon smuggling and extortion need to show a legitimate source of their income in order to dodge the police and tax authorities. So, they embark upon a so-called laundering process made up of three stages. The first, filtering. Black market deals are often paid in cash which is divided up into smaller sums to avoid any large and conspicuous bank deposits. Each stash is given to a frontman. The money can be banked, gambled away in casinos, lotteries and sports bets, or invested in precious metals and luxury goods. The second step is all about camouflage. The money has to exchange hands enough times for its origin to become untraceable. Often it's channeled into tax havens known for their less vigorous checks or filtered through fake companies. By purchasing an outwardly respectable business, criminals are able to obtain the relevant receipts to make everything look legitimate. Casinos, hotels, restaurants and nightclubs are popular choices as they generate high levels of cash flow. The final step involves putting the money into mainstream circulation by investing in the luxury property market making financial investments or buying art. The extent of money laundering on today's global economy is hard to assess, but the International Monetary Fund estimates between 2 and 5% of world GDP is linked to black market activity. So, how many states of uh, process money laundering? Three. 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 So what is the first one? Littering or sometimes we call placement. It means criminal. They find a way to place money into the financial system. Uh, so if you see that like if I uh, government officer 
and the most money from corruption right so that's money in cash 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 transaction so I, I cannot leave a hole to put my money in the hole, right? I need to change it in the financial system. So this we call place placement. You need to place some dirty money into bank or financial system. So this is very important. You need to find a way to put it. So the next one is about leverage or come off place. It means you, so, you need to find a way to this guy the short of the money. You, you can't just uh, you can you can't just place money and you you need to get one bank. It's easy for for the other person or for the police to find the short of the money. So it need to yield complex complex transaction to this guy the money. Let's say I will be going into uh, the bank A and the bank A transfer into the bank C or the bank C transfer into the offshore any offshore finance center in the world. That we call layering. In fact, layering into two parts, washing and layering. Washing is maybe clean, clean it. And layering is making you use a lot of transaction to make dirty money, <coughs> money. And the last one is integration or investment is making you use dirty money to buy luxury house, uh, financial artwork, anything. So, three main of money laundering. So, and when you look at the video, you see that. Today, the money laundering account, 2 to 5 percent of global GDP, a lot of money. This money enough to cover education costs of UK, or even this money enough to cover health care of Africa every year. So that's why the government now they take care of a lot of, take care much on money laundering because some people said that the money laundering, that's a kind of tax evasion. Because you earn money, dirty money, pay no tax. So a lot of money laundering is mean a lot of tax benefits, right? So uh, when you see that, it's very clear for you to see that the money laundering impact negative on the economy because we lost a lot of tax for dirty money, and also uh, and also the money laundering impact on the sorry uh, impact on the the, the the financial system and. Because when you leave the bank, you deposit into the bank, but you found that the bank now doing something with money laundering, you don't believe them anymore. So the money laundering maybe leads to instability of the financial system. So the question is, why money laundering developed in the world? There are some reasons, there are some factors saving on money laundering. Uh, the first one is over of night crime and expansion of negative trades. You heard that right? I want to show you the number. I hear according to the report of United Nations Office on Drug and Crime in 2007. And they found that when you look at the number of abuse, a lot of money in kind of dirty money from drug. A million, a million in 2007. And when the people, they earn a lot of money in terms of drug, it means they need to find a way to clean it. And the other is corruption. Here, here we report of transparent international in 2007, and you see that. The new research about the head of government in different countries, in different periods. And you see that when you, when you look at the Mohammed Suharto head of government in Indonesia, in the period 1967 to 1998, and you see how much he earned. In terms of corruption, I mean, this money is just kind of dirty money. The same for the other person. A lot of money they earn from corruption. So how they can because this money into the bank, they need money laundering. That's a kind of test. So if they want to, be, to, to, to make it clean, they need money laundering. The other reasons may be terrorism. Do you see, do you see the terrorism now today, right? They need to find the action, finance action, how, how they get money. They need to get a lot of money. That's a, most of them is dirty money. And then they transfer into the financial system to finance the other activity in the world. So that's why they need money money, wasting money. And the last is important is globalization and integration of the financial economy, financial money. 
Now you see that the interaction between international markets is very strong. It's easy for him to transfer money from one country to another country. So that is the way support for the money laundering is open. And uh, in general, when you look at this, this is a summary of the money laundering and another every year in the world. Most they focus on Americans. A lot of money are money in America. And on total in the world, you see that nearly one trillion money are laundered in the world. Every year. And this number increased very early every year. So that the government now they are trying to find something to do with money laundering to prevent it or to combat it. So the problem of the money laundering normally including known the current report special transaction and legislation. It means that whenever the business or the financial institution they take money from you. They need to verify or clarify the client where money comes from. Let's say in the bank now, right? When you deposit more than twenty thousand dollars, you need to declare where you get money or the short of the money. That's a kind of know the client. And in some country, they require the bank or the financial institution set up the profile of the client when they do the transaction for the client. The other is reports final transaction for any cash transaction, here cash transaction, the bank or financial institution, they need to report it. Why? Why do they need to do that? Because they, they want to follow the special client. And the last one is legislation. Legislation is mean regulation set up for money laundering. Normally in, in group three level, international, regional and the country. So uh, international organization is me now uh, IMF World Bank they set up a lot of regulation for money laundering. If you are the member of IMF World Bank, you need to follow it. Uh, maybe the other regulation from each work group, if you also a member of group, uh, let's say in uh, Asia, we also work in Asia, right? So ASEAN, they also set up their own regulation for money laundering. If you are the member of that group, you need to follow them. And the last level is the, uh, the regulation of the own country. So I show you some best practice in handling money laundering in the world. And you see that United Nations is the best one. United Nations, they have two regulations. The one is, the first one is money laundering and financial crime act. And the other is by the Secretary Act. And also for Switzerland or United Kingdom. And in Australia, they are a member of FATF, so they all need, they need to follow the regulation of this group. And they are also a member of Asia, Asia Pacific Group or Manual Group. So they also follow the regulation of that group. And in Australia, they also have a Australian Genesis Report and Analytics Center set up for so that is all my overview of my uh, So to summarize, I want to remind you something. What is the project of money laundering? Swiss right? What's the first one is investment. The next one, railway, and the last one, investment. Very good. Uh, what's the factor saving money laundering? Corruption and terrorists. <coughs> and that's one is globalization, right? And what is combined process of AML, anti money laundering? Uh, no the client, report special transaction, and legislation. So that's all my presentation today, and I hope you feel exciting with my lecture. Thank you for listening.